Okay, let's try this out. So, hey all, it's uh, VEDA. <laughs> it's April 13th. I'm a few days behind on my VEDAs and I'm here in sunny New York City. You can't tell from my room because it doesn't actually have a window facing outside. It has frosted windows so you can't tell it's facing another building. But uh, I've been walking outside for a few hours. I got here around noonish. Got a drive into town from the fancy schmancy Lincoln. And uh, I'm here in my hotel room. I went out, had some food, and now I've come back. There's some work to do before I call the day a wrap, or before I go out to dinner and then call the day a wrap. And in uh, the VEDA, and everything that's been happening in VEDA, in SSS VEDA specifically, I haven't been able to keep up as much. Fit Weekends are family time, it's hard to fit videos in, and I'm horribly behind in a few things. And this morning, uh, Justin, the J Money, whatever he calls himself these days, he um, he hit me to a video from Carmina Bernhardt, which was just a really well thought video for day 12, where she's talked about Yuri's night and the things that made her think and things of that nature. And it helped me to remember that um, these don't have to be videos that we're trying to you know, bang out in a few minutes and just try and, you know, get it done for the sake of doing it. That's the mistake a lot of people make when it comes down to digital content. You focus so hard on quantity that you forget about the quality and making something that matters. And that hit me. Like, I'm, I figured that out in blogging where, you know, I know how I want to write things. I know how I want them to come together. So I take my time and I make it work. But I'm still very new to vlogging and still trying to figure out how to articulate my message without getting it all convoluted in, uh, you know, just trying to make things short and sweet because people only have so much of an attention span. But if there's something I want to look back on and say, hey, you know, I did a good job, then I need to do it right. So, yeah, I'm going back on the Vedas and I, I think you'll see a bit of a change in approach. I, it might just be because I'm away from home and things are a little easier to make work right now, but uh, let's see what I can do. So, day 11 was what is our favorite social network, and that's a loaded question. Uh, well, for me anyway. I've been using Facebook since 2005, and I've been using Twitter since 2008. I've got on Instagram, I've got on uh, Foursquare when it was a thing, and now Swarm, and there's been a lot that's changed over time, and I've downloaded my tweets, like downloaded the stats and downloaded all the tweets I've made just in case, you know, Twitter dies one day, because digital things don't tend to stick around forever, and you can see that in... Um, 2011, 2012, I really peaked in what I was doing. I was doing Twitter chats all the time. I'd be uh, constantly just tweeting away and busy. Uh, maybe busy doing nothing if you were to argue some people, but it's, yeah. Yeah, I spent a lot of time just um, writing things out. And Twitter was my mainstay. Like, that was where my friends were, that was where all my activity was. I would just be on Twitter all the time. Facebook was okay. Uh, Instagram, I even, I would barely looked at. I was definitely, definitely not putting out videos on YouTube. But as things have changed, I don't know that I have a favorite social network. I treat each social network very differently from one another, where Twitter is for um, quick thoughts and ideas, quick photos I don't want to edit down to a square. Instagram is where I've printed my when I've printed up my photos and got them ready. Then I'll put them over to Instagram to share with people. Uh, Facebook has become a almost like a digital photo album for my kid. It's it's basically where I share photos of them all the time, and it's good because you know my parents are on there, my in laws are on there, and everyone that needs to see photos of him are there. So I can keep it kind of closed with friends only, but enough so that uh, it's all oh, there's like this weird digital archive. It used to be very different when I was in university, and when I didn't have a kid, and I was just mostly him. And uh, yeah, I just I don't know if I have a favorite. I think that. The best place for me right now is my blog, just because I can 
get thoughts and ideas out and really put pieces together to make something bigger. So I'll take tweets and I'll take Instagram posts and all the little things I've kind of done in a scattered fashion and put it all together in one place. And that's where I'm really telling my stories. So I don't know. I think I've matured in social media and now it's at a point where I'm just there creating my own little corner of the internet so that one day when this kid was older and if there's any future ones and you know that kind of thing then they can get a better idea of what their dad was about really because you know i know stories about my parents but it's not like they kept journals or diaries or anything that they share with us to give them a good idea give us a good idea of why they made the parenting choices they made and who they were before they had kids i, I just have these glimpses and I think most, well, I know a lot of Caribbean kids and kids of Caribbean descent would definitely uh, agree with that. But in my case, I uh, think, yeah, there's been a lot I've tried to dive into as part of my, you know, fixation with genealogy. But people are going to tell the stories they want to tell. And when my progeny looks back and tries to figure out their dad, I want to make sure that the story they get is a story told in my own words and the way I wanted to do it. So I guess, yeah, there's my rambling thoughts on social media. How about you? What's your favorite social network these days in the ever-changing digital landscape? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to wrap this up and move on to the next topic because I still have two to go to catch up. So have a good one all. I'll see you later. And uh, yeah, stay uh, lovely out there. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this time in NYC. Actually, I'm going to get some work done and then move on to enjoy my time in NYC. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.